You're listening to the Emo Metal Gamers Podcast. Welcome to another episode of Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Oh, is that it? You wanted to be able to see yourself? I needed to see whether I was actually on the screen or not. We are live on Twitch and we are doing the recording also for the podcast. What's the date? Okay, I'm just letting them know so people who are listening to the podcast are like, what the fuck are they talking about? Amateur. Today is February 15th, 2018. The day after Valentine's Day, which I slayed it, man. I made such a good dinner. Good. Good for you. Mine sucked. I burned mine. <laughs> I'm sure that. Uh, well, uh, everything wasn't good over here at Brower, but before we go... We Anyways, go. I'm Frank Berna. And I'm Jose Rodan, and you're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast, oh. episode 21. Am I right? No, you are correct. All right. We got the first. Um, Bo- before we go... Yeah, go um, ahead. Go ahead. So, for those of you who don't know, yesterday we had a huge tragedy in us being down here in South Florida. Um, for me personally, I sent out a tweet with... Uh, about the shooting that happened here in this region. Uh, I work in Miami, so I was about 45 minutes away from the actual incident, but me being a teacher really hit home, especially because I used to work up in that area. So I was busy texting um, teachers that I knew, other colleagues to see if they were had transferred schools to make sure everyone's okay. Um, I'm going to be a little political for a moment and listen just, just for a moment listen here congressmen and senators and governors and <coughs> mayors and everything we don't give a fuck about your thoughts and prayers anymore this is bullshit stop we we need we need to change something something needs to change because this this nonsense with the guns and and don't get me this oh you know, Second Amendment rights bullshit. I'm a United States fucking Marine. I was an infantryman. I love my guns and everything. But the fact that this asshole was able to get his hands on something. He bought it, right? Yeah, he bought it. And he could legally man. buy it. And that's the problem. That is the problem. I mean, I I love guns. I love guns. And, and AR-15, goddamn, I love it. It's a beautiful weapon. At the same time, not everyone should be able to get their hands on it. And, and and it's not necessary. I, as much as I love guns and 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 with the collection and everything that I'm I have, it's not worth it. I'm I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck about you, Donald Trump, and your thoughts and prayers. But you know, you get thirty million dollars from the goddamn NRA to do some shit. How about doing some shit and keeping people safe? Okay. Agree. A uh, 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 governor's. Senators, congressmen, we don't care about your thoughts and prayers because obviously God ain't listening. Okay? So listen to the fucking empty hallways and the gunshots because that's the only thing that's making sounds. The shit was about 20 miles, 30 miles from us. So 30 miles? Yeah. 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 So, you know, to the families, I, I'm... You know, we, I feel you the pain. It, it was it was such a weird day at work just because I'm there doing a normal day and knowing that those those individuals who lost their lives, it it's fucking bullshit. And I'm sorry to start because we, we here at Evil Metal Gamers, we love it to have a good time. But I had to put that out there because this is nonsense and this needs to stop. And I wanted to just give a huge shout out to the people who, who went through what they did. Because they they're they're awesome, they're they're awesome for doing what they did and and making it out, and we need to change 
That's more or less what I'm trying to get across. We need a fucking change. No more thoughts. No more prayers. Change some shit. <sighs> Anyways, after I got that off my chest, because I feel a lot no, better that now. Fine. That's fine. We're allowed to, you know, we live here. We're allowed to talk about it. Yeah. Close to home. But too close to home, man. Too close. Too close to home. Um, I always thought you were, you know, I always thought you were up there. <laughs> I was. I was. My old job was. And let me tell you guys, this in, This is a really good city, like a good neighborhood. Yeah, this ain't the hood. This, 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 this can happen anywhere because this is a really good neighborhood. Parkland is. Parkland is. <laughs> money. Is, 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 God, is that's all money. All the rich there's a lot of people with money over there. It's Buku money. We're talking ridiculous money. It's a really good neighborhood over there. So don't don't assume <laughs> that it, oh it's just another bad area. No, that's it. No, it can happen anywhere. So anyway, anyway. So with that being said, tonight is the night. Is it? It is. What are we doing tonight? We going to see. Apparently, what everybody is deeming the greatest Marvel movie oh, in the history God. of Marvel I'm not, movies. I'm not listening to that bullshit. Neither am I. I'm expecting a really good movie. I really am. Especially because a lot of people aren't familiar with the Black Panther. La Pantera Negra. <laughs> it should be like, oh, man. When that'd they say be awesome. in Mexico. Oh, that's got to be great. La Pantera Negra. Um, I'm expecting a really good film. Especially with the cast and crew. The director. Everything about it is good. Um, thus far, and everybody's <laughs> liking it. Um, rave reviews. So, I I'll be the judge of that shit. I don't I don't I don't trust any of that. I want it to be good. I do, but I don't know. I want it to be great. Uh, I mean, I'm I really I really do because I think that there, this could be the start of something <coughs> um, really good. As far as um, just getting more of these characters and getting. Maybe some more minority characters into the realm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> who, who do we have? We have uh, in the Avengers. Who do okay. we have that's a minority? Uh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Falcon. Wait. Falcon's black. Falcon's black. War Machine's black. <laughs> I think that's it, right? There's no Hispanics. Nick Fury. Nick Fury's black. Nick Fury's not part of the well. I found out that they were, uh, sorry to change the subject, why, uh, you know that picture we posted with all the people? Yeah. The Marvel, the people from from the, the movies were there, and people were asking why the guy from Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. wasn't there. Yeah, he's busy working. He was he was in a Comic Con or some type. No of no thing? no no. He was working on he was working on no, an episode. No 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 no. He wasn't. Bro, he, he was in some, in a comic book convention or some shit with the team. Oh shit. With the fans and stuff like that. So I don't I don't remember where exactly where he was, but bro, he it, still work. He's still working. Oh no, it's great. He was the only one not there, but he should have been there because he was in Thor. He was in Iron Man two. Iron Man one and two. No, he was in Iron Man. One and two. He was in one? One, of course. Of course he was in one. That's when he first came out and he said, uh, we're part of the uh, whatever, whatever shield. You're right. You're right. You're right. And then he was in part two and then he was in Avengers where he supposedly died. Yeah, he has clones. He wasn't cloned. Do you even watch a show? No, I heard it was a clone. No. Oh, my God. Spoiler I, alert. It was not a clone. I thought it was. I heard it was a clone. No, he actually died and Nick Fury used like this alien technology or some shit to bring him back. Uh, it's hard to explain everything that happened if you don't watch the show. But Nick Fury brought him back. Nick Fury. Samuel so, Jackson so was Sam, actually in the show. Oh, too. Sam Jackson actually showed up. That's yeah, yeah, sweet. yeah. Samuel Jackson's been in the show and none of the famous people other than him. But he was in it. They explained because the show changes around every time that a more Avengers something happens in the Avengers, the whole show changes around. Oh, I know that. That's and that's what after and they do it in Netflix too. After Civil War, it took a big turn, didn't it? Because of the Hydra, yeah. one of the bad guys, one of the good guys had to become a bad guy. Yeah, and, and I liked him. I thought he was cool. That's what a lot of people said. You know who he was? Uh, did you see? Did you play Until Dawn? 
I played it, but I didn't finish it. It was the jock. Okay. I don't know his name. <laughs> he's a big nobody, but he's the jock. And he, I actually liked him in uh, in Until Dawn. Like, he proves himself. Like, he's a stupid jock, but, you know, he goes, how far did you play? I tried to have sex with the chick in the cabin, and then she died. <laughs> I'm all about the sex, man. It, see, yeah, I was but, about to say yeah. something. And I'm glad I didn't because then that would have ruined it for you. Can you have sex with her? No. <laughs> no matter what, she's going to die. There's no sex in the show. There's no sex in that game? No sex. Lame. I don't I, even think there's nudity. I know I know that there, you get a trophy if you can beat the game with nobody dying. I Two people died in my... I tried, I tried, I tried. One of them can only survive if you collect all the clues. I'm not going to tell you who it is. And the other one, which is so cliche... Was the black guy? <laughs> I really didn't want him to die, but he did. And then I found I read up on it to see how how I can get him to say to to live. So he his girlfriend, the Asian chick, um, I don't know her name either. I don't know any of the cast. I know them from what they've played in other roles. No, like you she, just know them based off stereotypes. The black guy, the well, Asian I mean, chick, the jock. The what is jock. it? It's the eighties with fucking Goonies. Well, that that girl is in Superstore. And she was also in Shameless. And I uh, love how you're pounding on the table and everybody can get the feedback. Yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah. You say, yeah, because you know I'm right. She was in there and she was about to die. And he, he has the choice to do jump over the cliff and let her die or try to save her. I try to save her and I died because I tried to save her. So you got to like let her fall, but she falls like and is okay. I can't say much. Something like that. Something stupid. You have to let her fall. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, there's going to be consequences, I guess, on your relationship, but you both live. And then the other one was, there was no way I was going to do it. No way. Okay. Um. Anyway, going back to Marvel. Black Panther. I'm expecting. Oh, so here's something I'm going to say, and this is going to sound completely arrogant. Hold on. My mic's all messed up. There we go. There you go. There you go. So, um, I'm going to say something that's completely arrogant on my behalf, but I don't care. Um, I do not think that the movies that we're going to get is going to be as good as the movie I'm going to say. I think Ant-Man vs. Wasp is going to be the best Marvel movie of the year. So, How did you see the trailer? No. So I'm basing it off of one premise and one premise only. What? The fact that it is getting zero hype. Last year, last year, I'm like, Thor is probably going to be the best out of the three movies. Guardians, Spider-Man, Thor. And in my opinion, Thor because was... Thor got the less hype. Yeah. I think, I think the movies that get her, that are going to get the less hype, because I was on Twitter or something, uh-huh. and it was like six days until Black Panther, 90 days until I, I do Avengers. I don't know why they're fucking hyping. That's why I'm afraid. And, and then they go and then they go and it's like 120 days till Am Amber's. I'm like, wait, that's coming out this year. I was completely lost. And I love the fact that I was lost. because I'm like, that movie's going to be the tits. What? I still don't understand this. The tits. Well, we'll get to the tits later on. The, well, the tits we're that about- do you not know where that comes from. You, let's not talk about it in the in the. It comes from, well, no, it comes from an episode of South Park. Okay. Cartman walks around and goes, "That's tits." He just starts saying everything is tits, which is awesome, and then he keeps getting in trouble for it. So, <laughs> he goes, "South Park still around." South Park is one of the greatest things in the history. Yeah, but of I mean, they're, they're going to run out of shit. No, the, everything is based off of pop culture. It is one of the greatest <laughs> shows in the history of mankind. Now they talked about the Nintendo Switch yet. Probably. Probably. I haven't watched South Park in a while, but I mean, this show is is genius at an unprecedented level. Those guys, dude, Matt Parker and Trey Stone, they have everything. Do they? Do they? They do. They have Emmys. They have a Grammy. They have, they have an Academy. Grammy? They have an Academy for Award what? for Blame Canada. What? They don't have an Academy Award. They, don't they have an Academy they Award. They did not win that year. They have an Academy Award. For what? Basketball? Or ba- what is it? Basketball? Oh, those- they don't have it. They didn't win that year. I remember Blaine Canada did not win. I'm <sighs> sorry, but uh, you're wrong. Blaine Canada did not win. And that was the nominated song. Uh, and it could have been Best Animated? No way. I doubt it. Because there was a Disney movie that came out that year. Yeah. 
You're looking it up? Okay, so we got to keep talking about other things while Frank is looking up that shit. Yeah, I got to... I gotta. <sighs> okay, so what are the news? Hold on, man. I'm still looking this up. You can look that up while we talk about something else. Um, I finished Carbon... <laughs> Altered Carbon. Man, that was a fucking good show. I told you it was great. Yeah, but like I told you before, it took me a while to get into it. Because. I was like, I felt like they were trying too hard to confuse you with a sci-fi. So you need to get. No, 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 said, no, no, oh, no. Episode two gets better. No, I think you need to get to around. No, 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 no. Episode four. The science fiction. If you can't grasp science fiction. Yeah, it's confusing because, you know, you're just inept. But. No, but I mean, I'm saying that they, they went out of the way to. to it's hard to explain. They, they're like really trying to get people confused. They're not trying to get people confused. Everything, everything about the, this show made sense the first time I fucking watched it. I'm not done. I'm I'm on episode seven. But go ahead. I felt like they're trying to really like give you the ooh ha like the the little magic show here and there and and is it him? Is it not him? Was oh no it? no no no! You were but you're, you're right. You're right. It was and nominated. I think they, they, it didn't it's nominated. win. I knew it. I thought it won. It didn't. I remember watching those Academy Awards. I was like, oh my God, I hope South Park wins. And it didn't win either. I think it was nominated for an Academy Award for both best song and best. I don't even remember. You know, usually when they, they nominate the best song, they do throughout the whole Academy Awards, they have people sing it, sing a song. No, well, that's a hard song to I sing in I, front of public. Yeah. I think we got the best comedians from Canada. Yes or no? Did I don't you? know. You you can't think of any comedians from Canada? No, no. I I look at my Americans: George Carlin, Louis Black, Richard Pryor, Chris Rock, Eddie Murphy. You're just mad because your favorite rapper's from Canada. <laughs> if he would die, I'd be happy. <laughs> Aubrey James, you can die. Uh, uh, no talent, asshat. No talent. There's zero talent. Who are you talking about? Aubrey James. No, that's not who I'm talking that about. That is who you're talking about. No. Yeah. His no. name His name is Aubrey. Oh, that's his real name? That's his real name. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was trying to figure out what you're talking about. No, no, no. People get mad at me. I don't when listen I, to music, so I'm like people people say like you're so disrespectful. You don't you say you don't say his stage name and I'm like, "No, he doesn't deserve what? that respect." How is that dis- his stage name? Fuck his stage name. Fuck the fucking stage name. That's not your god-given name, your No, birth name. They, they people get disrespectful. Who would say that? My students. <laughs> They said that. Fucking A. If I knew Cher's real name, I'd call her by that fucking name. <laughs> and then I'd be like, oh, why aren't you calling her Cher? What? Are you kidding me? Speaking of which, you want to hear something awesome? What? I got Elton John tickets. That's- it's his farewell tour. He's never going to tour ever again. All right. It's, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm sure. You and who, who's... What man are you taking to go see Elton John? Dude, you can kiss my ass. Elton John is awesome, man. No, that's fine. I like Elton John. Elton John. I'm not going to go see him, but. I'm going to say the number one reason why I want to see him. He will never do this again. So. He's like 80 something years old, dude. Is he 80 something years old? It's Sir Elton. God damn. Sir Elton John has been doing music. I would love to hear the Rocket Man line. Yeah, that's. Dude, I'm going to lose my shit. What's the one that there was in the movie Sing? Did you see Sing? The gorilla sings it. Oh man, that was a great song. Anywho, you want to know how old Elton John? No, he's not that old. He's seventy, but he's done. He this he's is old. he's never. He's like I'm. Um, after this, I'm retiring. Good, I'm, let him retire. No, that's what I'm saying. En- enjoy your life, man. Party it up and. Is Paul have McCarthy to work. retire? No, Paul McCartney still does music. Isn't he like ninety? He's old. He, he's coming he should up. Should fucking retire. No, he still makes music. He still makes good music at that. What about? What the fuck? What about Aerosmith? Did they retire? No, they they're they, still around. They're still around. They they don't tour as much. <laughs> Did but you they see still... the Super Bowl commercial? Which one? Where Steven Tyler drives a car in reverse and gets young. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this? Who wrote this? I I, I don't know. It was just oh, God. dumb. Imagine being able to do that though. Uh, who wouldn't do it? Well, let's go to Alter Carbon. Speaking but of I, the young <laughs> dude. Every concept about that show just enlightens me and makes me happy. There, the, it's so good. And the, the fact that you could change bodies at any time would corrupt you eventually, which is why these rich people are, are, 
are such fucking terrible people yeah. because because you get bored after a while. It, I mean, it's the same concept as a van. We talked about this about vampires or whatever. You would he, uh, but I, I mean, I, his, the, the 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 main couple that is married, the two rich people that are that hire him in order to find out, yeah, who who killed him. I mean, they've been married for like 150 years or some shit. No longer than that, I think. The point of the matter is that she's had she's given him like 21 kids or some shit or 31 yeah. kids or some bullshit. It's the same concept. Even though you're switching your body, I feel that it would corrupt you. But in a, in a way, maybe not because if your memory is if your memory is in a chip, then it's not the same concept. I, what do you mean? Because it's your brain that that causes your brain is nothing but electrical impulses. Though, did you not pay attention to it in the Matrix? And that's I, just biology one hundred and one. I feel like okay. Let's say the man got Alzheimer's. Would it transfer over to the chip? I believe so, right? Well, well, yes and no, because I feel like the degradation of the brain would, something would. But the, the but, insanity, but, but, insanities, where you are no longer sane. Okay. Could we assume that that's just your brain, right? Well, yeah, that, that's because development of the brain never happened. The things like Alzheimer's and, and other okay, um, but, dementias. Uh, okay, dementia. Is, that, that Those are degenerative diseases. If we could take so, conscious, but it, ultimately, if we can take consciousness and, and put it into a chip, we've figured out how to stop Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Yeah, we figured out how to stop things along those lines. But you know what I mean, though, right? Oh, absolutely. They put you in in the sleeve, as they call it, where the brain has already a degenerate disease that they didn't catch on time. Would it transfer over to the consciousness and then stay over? Because every time they pass it on, it's well. No, I feel it's. I mean, it's a valid question. No, it it, it, one hundred and fifty percent. It is. Um, it's. I'm. I'm now. Granted, I'm. I'm talking about something. Uh, that is 100% theoretical and not actually real. But if something along those lines would happen, I'm guessing programming and understanding what works, what doesn't work would go into that. Before you re-sleeve somebody, I'm guessing they would check the chip for said diseases. Now, here's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about the show is, is that person the person that was originally or is just a consciousness? Is it, is it, is it, isn't there sleeve sickness? I never saw it, but I heard about it. What I'm saying is, did did you see the episodes? Did you see that they have backups, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So if they have a backup of your memory, then you're no longer that person. What do you mean? Well, that would mean that there's five different personalities of yourself and five different sleeves. No, 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 no. You, you didn't pay attention during the backups. The backups are meant to work they don't have an actual consciousness. The backups are are operating on purely a um a it, it's like a vegetable. It's it's it is it is it's a save file. They basically talk about it. It's a save file. No, 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 no. The save file is the satellite in space. Okay, Frank, he killed himself or someone killed him. Right. They make it look like he killed himself. Right. But he had a backup. Right. That shoots no 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 no. There's a satellite. The Uber rich have satellites. So every 48 hours, their consciousness is beamed up to the satellite. Okay, but not everybody can back it up. Right. Only the, rich the Uber rich can do that. Everybody else, if you if your chip get that that's true death. Okay, that's what I'm saying is if you have a backup up there and you get killed, you lost that chip. You whoosh, you blew your brains out. And then they put the, the Jesus you, Christ, that smelled like really bad. Fuck, man. You just burped <laughs> in my face. No, uh, it, it, it's, um, it's, I understand what you're saying. You lose 48 hours. That's all you lose. But is it, it, what I'm saying is, are we the consciousness or is it, is, I mean, 
I guess I'm going into a religious aspect here. Oh, that, that, are but, we no longer that person when we die? Do we truly die, and it's just well, a that's, digital form of you into another body? Well, that's essentially where we get into the idea of teleportation. Because if we were if we were able to teleport ourselves, literally, you are destroying the physical structure, and then you remaking it. We're we're re establishing it on the other end yeah because because i kept on saying okay you die they put it in the chip they put your chip somewhere else and yes theoretically yes and that's still you but when you back it up and then that's destroyed the original chip that they put on you when you were born it's no longer you it's just a backup it's so now you're just a computer file yeah essentially essentially but the original one but then is you, dead but but then you look at um that's what I'm, what I'm saying. Look at what is that? Um, I don't know. What what was that show? Look at Black Mirror. Yes. And and San Juniper. Same concept. You know that was that was the show. Fucking a. Remember I was telling you I was like I swear that they stole this concept from something else I seen. It was Black Mirror. Yeah, I mean, but that concepts have been around for a while now. But they didn't put it in a body or anything like that. No, they put it into they put it into a digital space. And once again, if you're put into a digital space, I mean that's that's what it comes down to. That this is this is where the idea of heaven and hell disappear, and it's it's a it's a great. I mean, I put a lot of thought in it. Just but watching the, a show, it makes you think. Like, the, but the more you think about it, the the more your your brain will really I mean, it's not start. Happen. I really don't feel. Oh, that, that, we won't see it, but it's it's something. I don't think it will, Frank. I just it's something that could be done. It it and granted, the science has to be. <laughs> it's your of it, the the science has to be at a level. Of it's an organism epic proportion. We are, but I know, I just, it's, I know it's electrons and stuff like that, but we're mainly, uh, I don't know. We're fucking, we're an organism. You can't just transfer us into a, into a machine. I don't, I don't believe it. I mean, you may not believe it, but it could be done. I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, in a way, I guess so, because they do that with coma victims or people who can't move and shit. They put that thing on where they're able to say yes or no. Yeah. The I mean, like machines. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we're just a bunch of electrical impulses, man. I don't know. Maybe we will see it. Maybe we won't. No, we, you and I won't see it. You'll be, your daughter may, I mean, have you heard about the new science in the next, <laughs> doctors predict 25 years, 25 uh -huh. years. So we'll be what, 60 something, give or take? Yeah. 25 years, I'm 37, so I will be 62. 62. Human beings in first world countries will no longer have sex to procreate. It, you're it, missing out, bitches. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you're missing the concept. They will no longer have sex to procreate. They'll just have sex. Yeah, we'll just have sex. They just have sex. Okay, but. The not. idea of procreation is everything's going to be done in a lab. And Ooh. from there. The idea that we're going to be generated in a lab. People are like, oh, my God, that's so crazy. Da, 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 da. I'd never do that, especially I mean, my students. They're like, that's that's blasphemous. And I'm like, I'd do it in a heartbeat. But I mean, because you can choose the gender. You can choose. I, I mean, they're breaking. See, now you're going into Gattaca. No, but you're choosing. Gattaca? I, I guess. I don't know. But you could choose your gender. You can choose eye color, hair color. But it's based off of your d DNA. So, yeah. so you and your girlfriend's DNA, you would get whatever... Stem. So, so, but they. You, you never saw Gattaca? No. With, with. Uh, no, I heard it wasn't good. What? That's what I heard. Is everything you just said right now in the future? No. You're but not we, born. They choose your gender. They choose. No. So you don't die. And they can also tell just by taking a blood sample how long you're going to live. Well, that, and that's, and that's where this comes down. The, the genetic pattern, they, they'll, it will negate any kind of. Uh, mental retardation, physical disabilities, physical deformment, because it it's either a missing chromosome or an extra chromosome, then that's the reason why people have... I, I want to believe that this could happen, but you know, religion always gets in the way. <laughs> the, the, theology is the number one dying... Um, I mean... The, theology, the theology is the number one dying occupation in the United States. Becoming a priest or a pastor or a rabbi or... Um, uh, forgive me, uh, my our Islamic community. I do not know what your uh, head of the clergy is in your um, denomination, but 
those jobs are disappearing because nobody believes because science has taken over. Then I mean, and, and it is what it is. You know, there's a guy in my job that thinks the world is flat. Flat Earthers, <laughs> if flat Earthers is a real thing, and it, it stems, Jesus, there's actual people like this. Yeah, there, they, but it stems from an idea that it they say this because of religion and that they're trying to negate religion. <sighs> I sat down and talked to him and tried to convince him and it just it's he has an answer for everything. And he's like, "Nope, uh, no no no, but you can't see it. I can't see it, so it's it's not possible." And I was like, "Well, do you believe of oxygen?" And he's like, "Yeah, can you see oxygen?" "No." So then how do you know oxygen <laughs> exists? Oh, because they're proven it scientists. The same scientists Scientist. that are telling you that the world is round. And he, and he, you know, he's super religious too. And I'm like, you don't believe that God would make the world round because it makes more sense. And he, I mean, he, I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh boy. Yeah, no. Christopher Columbus would have hated you. I said to him <laughs> and what's his name? Uh, it wasn't Magellan. G- Magellan. No, I don't think Magellan. I thought Magellan did. He proved the theory by going. I could be wrong. I thought it was Magellan. I don't think it's Magellan. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You know, send us your email because you yeah, hate us. I thought he was his. He was trying to prove it. The world was wrong. Um, I don't think Columbus wanted to prove it, right? I don't know. Who cares? Anywho, alter carbon. Make sure you boys and girls watch it. Watch it. I loved it. I Man, I love it. The fact that they, I, if I was a billionaire. <laughs> If I was a fucking billionaire, I can't be a billionaire. I would have to be a, a fucking trillionaire. I would build the Raven. I would build that fucking hotel. And you watch how many people will go to that fucking hotel. But it, as you can see, he doesn't get business like he used to because it just became the norm. God, man, what an awesome hotel. Yeah. Oh, Paul is awesome. And the entire show is awesome. I love it. And you know what? <laughs> People need to, I don't know if people actually know where Graal and Poe is. I mean, I think that's where you can separate people who actually know a little bit of literature and the people who don't know anything about literature. Because I didn't have to, I didn't have to know anything about the character just by looking at him. I said, that guy looks a lot like Edgar Allan Poe before anything, you know? And then I thought the Raven and then I put it all together. I mean, if you, if you're. If you're into literature or if you like fucking I don't like reading. I don't like any of that stuff. It's nonsense. You're an English teacher. Don't tell anybody I said Jesus that. Jesus Christ. You're an English teacher. Oh. No, I love Poe. I think Poe is one of the Poe's best. Poe's awesome. I wish he was a drunk. I was telling you his. He should have been a drunk in the show. <laughs> a drunk AI. Oh, I don't give a fuck. He's always passed out. I think he spent most of his life passed out. Didn't he not become popular after he died? Yeah, he did. I don't know. I, he died and then he became famous. Well, that happens with a lot of people. But everyone's going to be going ape shit over our podcast, you know, when we die. They were so revolutionary. Blah, 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 blah. If you say so. I don't believe it. So. What's well, next? Um, saw Cloverfield. You saw Cloverfield. I have yet to see it, but go ahead. I, I mean, it was interesting. The I don't see how... First of all, it takes place in a world where we've used up all the resources of the world. There's no resources left. And basically what they do is they create a Cloverfield spaceship up into the air, into the space to create. Uh, Isn't it called the Cloverfield Paradox, though? The, yeah, it's the Cloverfield Paradox. Exactly. So couldn't that mean that it's an alternate reality? Well, uh, they're trying to do a pa- particle particle accelerator. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah. And by doing this, there's people on or there's people on Earth that are uh, coming up with a theory that you could do a, a, a paradox or whatever. Every time you do the particle accelerator or some shit, you could, you're you're messing with dimensions and shit. Yeah. So the show basically, the movie basically is that they actually manage to turn it on or, or or do it right, and two dimensions hit each other. That's plus sucks. a third one. That Which sucks. I'm not going to tell you the third one what it is, but two dimensions where one were both of them is very both of them are 
collided, but it's almost the same, just small differences. Like the German engineer that's in charge of Cloverfield in the movie is in he he wants to save the Earth. Okay, but in another dimension, he is a German spy where Germany tells him to you know fuck it so they can invade Russia. But then the two realities collide, so I can't get too much information. Well, without, without spoiling, without spoiling it, but it does. It's interesting, but uh, I mean, connect. They said that this would bring answers to the first one, and it doesn't really. Be and I still don't know how the fuck it's connected to the second one. The second one was the best one, but I don't see how it's connected. But in the first one, you know, the guy, the guy. The monster attacks and the guy's about to go on a trip, whatever, in New York City. Remember that? Yeah. Well, he was about... Wasn't he going to move to Tokyo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the monster started to come out, right? Right. Assuming that this is after the original... After this one that just came out. There is no signs in in the first part that shows that the world has used up all their fucking resources. Right. Well, wait. Wasn't he a scientist that was doing something? I don't, I don't remember. I, no, I thought he was working for Slusho. The, the fucking drink. I thought he was a scientist that was working on something. I thought he was working for Slusho. Remember, oh. Slusho was in every single one of them. But right. I don't know. So I, that's the way I, I I didn't see it was connected. I said, wait a minute. There was no, it, there was nothing showing that they were partying and they were having a good time. And this movie that just came out, people are fucking starving. There's, there's no gas left. You know, there's no fuel. They're giving months before everything goes to shit. <laughs> so everything's on hand to, for them to just get that shit solved. Dude, I mean, you were you remember the hurricane. Yeah. We were like a third world goddamn country down here. It's, Gasoline was scared, dude. Zombie apocalypse. Wait, are you talking about the latest one, though? No, I'm just talking about the Wilma. Remember Wilma? Wilma was bad. This last one was bad. What are you no, talking Wilma, about, man? Wilma. Frank. Wilma was bad. This is... This was a monster coming to us, but it didn't hit us. We felt it. We definitely felt it, and it destroyed the Keys and destroyed the West Coast. But Wilma hit us bad. Do you remember Wilma? Were you living here? Wilma? Yeah, I was living here with Wilma. You want to know what happened though? Wilma, I was living in an alcoholic haze, man. Wilma was fucking bad, bro. Wilma, the the thing that happened was I was a waiter at the time when Wilma hit, so I had nothing but cash on me. So I I was good. Very good. I was great, dude. I had like four hundred dollars in cash, and then by like day three, I was able to drink warm alcohol. And uh, bro, I still I was like three hours. Bro. I was. I was basically drunk. Plus, then. people who people who moved over here. After Wilma, don't know how good they had it because when they went to get gas, gas was already available. When Wilma hit, there was no power, so there was no gas. They made that law after Wilma where they have to have a a generator. Each gas station must have a generator. Yeah. Um, uh. Now they do have generators, so people didn't really, uh, you know. I don't know. I know. I just want to get a. I want to get um. I want to get solar panels. So about my my cousin, I went. I just went to Puerto Rico. My cousin has a house that he built where it's all with solar panels, and he he has like his own. He he drink. He gets water from the rain, and he can mass produce water and shit. He can literally live there for six months without like Anything. the Puerto Rico. Uh, well, let, well, what are you talking about? He is in chaos right now, and he's he's good. <laughs> he's because he, he's in he's in he's an engineer. Okay, and he designed that house like that. He has filters and everything. It, it grabs the water, pumps it, cleans it. All the extra access water, this shit spits it out and shit. He he's been living okay. That's sweet. <laughs> Fucking hey. Surprise a bunch of fucking the people. People go, people go to his house and shit. They go to his house and he gives them water. He's, he's a very kind man. So, um, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk? 2077 just, is going to be awesome. After watching Carbon, um, Altered Carbon, you can't tell me that you are not beyond excited. No, I'm not. You're a liar. <laughs> of course I'm excited. It was a good fucking show. E3, I mean, they basically confirmed that it's going to be there. I thought it was before that. 
They already said that a trailer's coming out soon. Oh, I didn't see that. I just know that they, they said this it's going to show how bad the killing is. I can't wait. It's going to be. I really. I, I if if it's the same team as Witcher. And and I already said I think that their play style lends itself better to a game like Witcher than it does. I'm just I'm. Do you know? But you you that's do. a great team they have there. Oh they, no, they, they they know how to look at all the details. They're very Kojima style. Oh yeah, they, no, the game was beautiful. I, I will not deny that Witcher was not beautiful, and it played well. I, I won't deny that. No, I know, I know. We don't have to get them what you did. Right, right, like right. It, I but I, I got a feeling like it's going to be really sweet. You want to know what else I would really? You want to know what I really would like to have in a game, in, in a in a video game, especially. I mean, it doesn't have to be cyberpunk, but this concept of like a fighting kung fu game with guns. Okay. You saw that in in cyberpunk. I mean, in cyberpunk, in altered carbon. Did you not? Yeah, how they fight with guns like they're doing kung fu, but at the same time they got the guy. Almost, what was that movie? Oh, uh, Equilibrium. Equilibrium was awesome. Yeah, was but a great movie. but that kind of where it, it, like I'm gonna pull out my gun and then you duck behind it and get underneath and you kind of bend my arm back and grab the gun. You know what I mean? That's something that I would love to see in a video game, almost a la Mirror's Edge. Yeah. But you know better. What was the name of the main character again? Takashi, Takashi, something like that. I I don't He's know. He's awesome. I just didn't like that guy. You didn't like but, him at the beginning, but the I didn't like that sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I the, the, and, and you know what's great about this show? And I was talking to my girlfriend about this. You know what's the number one thing about this show? That show can go on fucking ever because oh you God, can, I want to tell you the end so bad. I'll punch you in the face I'm be, because it's you cool. can constantly re-sleeve characters and shit like that. You did, know what I mean? Okay. Did, did so you he episode did, seven episode episode seven? Did you did you that he, was, the last tortured oh, tortured? So that's it. Stop. And that's it. I'm if you thinking, can't remember the torture, then before that, did they did they was he fighting in the junkyard? Those, no, those fights. Fucking, you're missing up all the good shit. Man. No, what I did. Watching, god it, damn it! I it's my you. girlfriend. She does. She's. <sighs> Anywho, I can't say anything without saying anything. So, let's continue. Let's proceed to the next topic. The next topic. What is the next topic? So, I actually played a new game. Yeah. 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 Where's it at? Because I got. I don't remember what it's called. Well, you. Better fucking find out. I got it. Hold on. It's okay. So if you go on the PlayStation Plus, it's uh. You got about twenty minutes. We got this game <laughs> on PlayStation Plus, and now this is for you vintage gamers out there. It's it's for you kids who need all these pretty gla- graphics and oh my god, it's the most detailed thing ever. Which one? Go away. This isn't for you. It's a game called <laughs> Grand Kingdom. It's mainly for the Vita, but you can play it on the PS4. Go away. That's rude. Well, no, this is this is old school video game. And okay. it's really cool. The game's called Grand Kingdom. It's a classic RPG. So it's turn based, which is yeah. really awesome. And it plays it plays 2D. You know, you take your um your average 2D game, like the old Final Fantasies. Yeah. And add like this this element of layers. So it's a very flat 2D game, but it has three rows, okay? Okay. So you it, it has this Final Fantasy tactics element to it. So you have a bar that you can move forward, you can move backwards, and you only have so much stamina. So if you're running to the character, right? You only get you only have like a little bit more of a bar so you can do a strike on the character, right? Okay. But if the enemy runs up to your character, when you go, you could just use all your stamina to beat the fuck out of them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So from there, there's different level there it there's three different levels. So it you know how in the old Final Fantasies it would have the three characters right next to each other? Yeah. Each one of those characters is on a different level. Now you can move the two characters so then they're like back to back to each other. And then you can move. What is this called? It's called Grand Kingdom. It's free on PSN. 
It's free this month, and it's really fucking for what cool. Com- uh, for PSP, you said? It's PSP, but you could use it. It has cross-play, so you could play it on uh, the PS4. Grand Kingdom, PlayStation 4. I see it now. It uh-huh. It's really fucking cool. It's not the greatest. It's not going to win game of the year. Ooh, I like the graphics. Uh, yeah, but the graphics are really cool. It's old school, like, drawn. I like it, though. It's beautiful, and it's fun. And different. You, down- ca- you played it? Yeah, it's free. You can download. You got PS and you can download it. I'm getting that shit. Um, and then different characters have different abilities. So like you have a mage, you have a soldier, and you're kind of this mercenary group, and you can hire new soldiers. There's a leveling system. They get new abilities. There's all kinds of really cool stuff in it. I like it a lot. I've been playing it. Um, it's it's a ton of fun. I'm not too far in it, but because I've been playing other games as well. You know, The Division, Grand Theft Auto, Injustice, 2017 Game of the Year. I'm not associated with that. It's okay. Ed Boon will find out soon enough. Not for me. I'll present him with the trophy. Fuck him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, no, but it's, it's really cool. It's really fun. It's it's an interesting game. Um, I highly recommend it if you're into old school um, RPGs like that, I I really really dig it, and I rec- I highly recommend it. And I just recommend it. I highly recommend, it, especially because it's free. And I, I wish it's this is one of those times where I actually wish I had a PSP because this would be something I would I would not mind taking with me to like like if I'm at if I'm just hanging out waiting for something. I because you could play a couple matches real quick, and then you know save your progress. And then when you get home, you can upload it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. Hey, it's, hey, the review for uh, Secret of Mana came out. Oh, snap. What did you get? What do you, what do you remember the game? What no. will you give it if, the way you remember it? Nine. Got a 7.6. <laughs> IGN hates the world. IGN is, yeah. Uh, what did GameSpot give it? I don't know. I can look are, that up. Are you going to Metacritic it? I should, but I mean... Oh, look, Ool Baal says Phantom Thread ripped off Blood Rain poster. Oh, God, I hate it. Everybody's talking about this Kingdom Come game. It's, you seen it? I've seen it. I'm not. I because think it's is cool. an Xbox exclusive. Is it an Xbox it's exclusive? An Xbox exclusive. Oh, I didn't know that. It, it it looked good. It didn't look great is what I'm saying. And the PS and the PC. I thought it was all systems. I don't think so. And what is it? Kingdom Come? Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come Deliverance? Yeah. Man, I barely got to play anything, man. Everything that I played was just... Yeah. Oh, look, what about that fucking Mo- uh, Monsters, Inc. on Kingdom Hearts? I was about to go there, That man. was fucking amazing. I know you don't play fucking Kingdom Hearts, but bro... It looks beautiful. Oh, no, yeah, it's 4 PS4. It is? Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I, I mean, I'm just... It looks. When is this fucking game gonna come out? It's been ten years. Twenty eighteen is what they said. Ten years. Twenty eighteen is what they said. It's. I think. I feel like it's more than ten years. And Kingdom you want, Hearts two. I don't count the ones for DS. No, no, no. The the two point five and the I remix. think it was two thousand and two. Kingdom. No, I was out in the Marine Corps when Part Two came out. Kingdom Hearts two. Two thousand four tops. But a but a ba. No, it, it it definitely came out after the. Um, I don't know. Kingdom Hearts two, two thousand and five, brother. Two thousand and five, so thirteen years. Yeah, I just remember thirteen years, bro. I just remember when when Kingdom Hearts, when my buddy, because I was in the Marine Corps, and my uh, my roommate played the fuck out of it. So I got to see a lot of the game. And you didn't like it. I, I I don't like playing it. I think kids are stupid. Um, what? And playing a video game where kids can be adults is just dumb to me. I never understood that concept. I, I never understood how, you know, we have these like movies like Shark Boy and Lava Girl or something dumb like that where kids have powers and they can defeat adults. No, it doesn't matter. Kids are fucking stupid. I knew that as a kid growing up that those concepts of, of that was dumb. Like when I saw Home Alone as a kid, I thought that those concepts were stupid. There's no adult that's that dumb to get tricked by a little kid like that. It bothers me. It bothers me to this day. And and the game like Kingdom Hearts is I just can't play it. Well, I mean, he's not a kid. He's a teenager. Oh, God, go away. He looks what? like he's seven. 
Well, in the original one, he was like 10, but then he falls asleep and he wakes up about five years later. So he's a teenager now. Yeah, well, it sounds like a teenager in real life. They it doesn't fucking life matter. Away. It's really good. It goes a different way. They got summonings too. No, I know. I Dude, I know. I just remember at the end of Kingdom Hearts, uh, Mickey has that... Uh, has that little cameo. He goes, ha ha. And you see a shadow and he pulls out the keyblade and then it's like, boom, end the game. <laughs> Do you remember that or no? I remember. And then, and then he came out in part two. And then he comes out in part two. And then I swear to God, between that and Half-Life, everybody, <laughs> they just keep getting screwed over on their secret. Like that, that, that does such a disservice to fans. And I feel bad for fans of, of great. And I don't like Kingdom Hearts, but I feel bad for the fans of great titles because as a gamer, I, I feel everybody deserves. Who are you talking about? I feel that everybody deserves, you know, closure, at least for their favorite game characters. I think this is it, right? This is the one where they do closure. Yeah, I think so, too. But it, I don't think it should have taken this long. No, 13 years. I feel that it was a Disney thing. Really, I do. I don't. I don't at all. I don't think. I, so, no. Do you know the amount of copyrights they have to get? Disney's part of it. They don't need yeah, any copyrights. The, the, Disney doesn't want to do it, I guess. What are you talking about? Disney doesn't want to do it. It's uh, it's obviously not square side. I don't think it's square side, really. Did you? Have you seen the train wreck that's Final Fantasy 15? I don't think that Square would. That, was, have you seen the train wreck? I'm Final saying that. Have the, you seen the train wreck? What does that have to do with the, what the hell does that have to do with them wanting to do it? Why do why did Marvel versus Capcom take so long? It was because of Disney, and of course we got to get to that shit, man. We we need to wrap this up soon. <laughs> you can go ahead and talk about that. No, the Marvel versus Capcom Infinite was just that's it. Good. They, they given up on the the game. It's not an evil. It's been replaced by a little game called Dragon Ball Fighters. I've been saying it wrong. I thought it was Dragon Ball. Fighter Z. No, it's Fighters. Or with Fighters a Z. Z. With a Z at the end. What is this, 1997? Well, I've been saying it wrong. So, sorry about that, folks. Either way, I want to play that fucking game. If you got if it replaced... Fuck, bro. It, they still kept Marvel vs. Capcom 3, though. Well, that's a better game, no? Yeah, but, the, I mean, what does that tell you? Fuck. To me, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is the best one. That's my personal opinion. The first one? No, part two. Part two was excellent. That's the one. That, why? That why one haven't had, that one had Jill? That that was the best one. Do we need another fucking Street Fighter Two Alpha remake? No, we do not need a high definition 1080 4K Street Fighter Two. Give me a Marvel versus Capcom Two high definition remake. Give me that. That's one of the games where Adrian talks to you. You know, you remember we were talking about uh, digital and why digital is bad. That's one of those games that it was on the PlayStation Store. Adrian downloaded it, and he can never download it again because it's off the store. For what system? PS3. PS3. Get rid of that fucking PS3. No, I still got mine. Get rid of that fucking shit. I can't wait for Catherine. Saddam Hussein was collecting them to make a bomb. Remember that? Huh? You remember that rumor a long time what? ago? Who was, was it? The PlayStation 2s. What was it? Who was collecting Saddam them? Hussein? Oh, my God. You got to remember that. No, I don't remember that at all. How do you not remember? They said the chip inside the PlayStation 2 was so powerful that Saddam Hussein was hoarding them. Bun, hoarding them in order to make missiles. <laughs> you don't remember that? Um, uh, classic Saddam. No, he'd probably get the Switch. <laughs> good the luck, Switch buddy. The Switch is more powerful than the PlayStation 2. I know. I was like, good luck, buddy. Saddam is hanging. Oh, maybe the thing no, he does. no, he's not. His head got ripped off whenever they, they hung him. Really? Yeah, it ripped off? Yeah, it ripped off. And then like there was a bunch of people. There was like a political backlash there. What? Are you sh- it, oh, man, that's disgusting. Yeah, no. There's You can do Google the image. I don't want to Google that shit. I, I have that's nasty. multiple times. Good for you. Seeing people die like that. Oh, God. Oh, someone like that deserves to die. <laughs> someone like that deserves to die. I don't want to see it. Mm. It, no. it makes me sleep better at night. Kim Jong Un, you're next. That makes yeah, me sleep better at night. He brainwashes those people. It's yeah. not the same thing. Um, anything else that you got going on? <laughs> I, 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 there was no games for me to. I, I was gonna get Kingdom Come. I was like, what if I absolutely fucking hate this game? How did you like Shadow of Colossus? Shadow of Colossus was great. I got all the way up to the sea creature. I I, I stopped playing after that. The fucking sea. I have a fear of the ocean. Oh, you do? I do. I I don't. Oh, not that, the beach. That, 
I love the beach. That game, that game, that game makes deep water scary. I yeah, I love the beach. I don't like the ocean. I wouldn't jump in the ocean. I don't care how much you pay me. <laughs> if I don't know what it's under me, I can't get in a lake either. Really? Nope. nope. And not, I can swim fine. I can swim just perfectly fine. Just not knowing what's underneath me freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> because you don't know what's down there. I don't give a shit what people say. Oh, it's just a river. There's only fish. I don't care. I don't know what's down there. Freaks me out. And when I did that level, it always, I always have like anxiety. Anxiety because I know it's there. <laughs> oh, God. It's such a beautiful. Tell me that. Game. It is beautiful. I that mean, that game was I mean, ridiculous. But just the, the, you know, when that fucking creature's coming out. Oh, God. Anywho, um, man, what is up with the rate? The my it's it's got to be yours. Probably, I don't know. Anyways, um, anything else that you got going on? No, were you gonna talk about something else? I don't know. I feel like there's something else that we missed. I feel so. What, we talk about Twitch. That's what we're missing out well, on. We always do the the uh, the debate. The debate. There is no debate here, buddy. There is no debate. I agree, one hundred percent. There is no so debate. so. Listen, and, and I'm not trying to sound like a douche when I say this, but when we get into this conversation that we're going to get into, Please. The, the the concept of what you're saying, people do focus in when 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 it's something that people don't get into, or when it's something that people um, when it's I'm trying to sound it without you know being like a PR. But when you say something, public relations, yeah. Well, when when you, when you say something in regards to you know race, sexual orientation, sex, religion, anything along those lines, once you start, you know, bashing people, like people who sit there, and, and if you're trying to have a political debate with somebody, and you go, "Oh, you little snowflake," or "Oh, you Trump tart," you, you you're Trump not, tart. I never heard that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Sorry, when, but when, I shouldn't be laughing about that. But when, but when you when you throw those things out, you you're you're no longer having the conversation, and the people start focusing on the other aspect yeah. rather than what the argument is about. So, do you want to go, or do you want me to elaborate, and then you you want to piggyback? It's your call. Well, it's, I mean, it's let's your get story. To, it's your call. Twitch changed the policies. Bravo. They changed the policies in, 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 in what these people, what Twitch is trying to do, which I agree with them 100%, is that there is a big problem with sexual harassment or harassment in Twitch. But how can you stop this? How, how can you stop it and try to keep your audience at the same time? They, they're trying to figure out a way that it, they're they're meeting everyone halfway, and people didn't see it like that. No, the the policy that they changed now is that you need to be properly dressed. I mean, I don't think they went out there and say you have to wear long sleeves and you know dress church attire, but they're asking kindly that you dress up appropriately. You should dress up like you were not, like if you. I I can't find the words. It's, just just stop dressing provocatively. Like, stop dressing what, like, provocatively. And like this don't will, have your chest out and d- don't wear and don't try to exploit your ass. Like that's that's exactly like it, if you're playing Twitch. Why if you're on Twitch? Twitch. I mean, based off of everything, it is a video game community. It is. So you're supposed to be looking at our ugly faces, or if you're pretty, your pretty face. There's no reason your ass cheeks should be on the screen. Of course not, not at all. But if you, you know, go on YouTube and see the hottest Twitch girls, and they do things like, oh, I just dropped my controller. Let me pick it up for thirty <laughs> seconds. Did you see the one where? There was one where, where every time somebody donated an amount, I was like, oh, you donated $10? Let me write it on the board. And she turns around and bends down and writes it on the board that's in the pretty much hanging in the floor. And, and that's basically, I mean, I am not forced harassment. I don't believe that it's right. I don't think that women should be talked down to the way that these guys are doing it. But let's, let's go. How did this crowd... How did this nasty crowd end up in Twitch? 
This crowd wasn't in Twitch. And if it was, it was keeping it secret. It was keeping it to themselves. Right. All of a sudden, this crowd is talking down to women in a, in a, in a sexual manner. But why are they doing it? I mean, like, I'm trying to go political here. I, I'm not saying that well, a man I, should, if you dress like that, that a man should say that. But when you're luring this crowd into you, is it's it's oh god well listen here here, here, here. i'm trying to be not fragile because i don't want to sound like i'm saying that women should be harassed well well, 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 here here let me let me let me break it down for you like this because i've and and this is going to sound arrogant on me but i feel i have the right to talk about this because my girlfriend is very voluptuous my girlfriend has a ton of curves and and i mean it it is what it is and I brought this conversation up and she agrees with us. And, and let me tell you, my girlfriend is very, very, um, you know, feminist in the aspect of treat me as an equal. And But she says, you know, when I was in college and if I wore something skimpy, I knew what I was doing. Exactly. I knew I was attracting attention. That's on me. And I'm doing that when I go. Does that mean I want to be groped? Does that mean I want to be touched? No. But at the same time, I have to expect the whistles and the hollers and the turning of the heads. People are going to stare at me. And at the time when I'm 22 years old, yes, I kind of wanted that attention. And, and, and in that regard, you, you have to be saying, look at me. And I, I show we were having this conversation, Jose and I, and I was, I put a picture out there. I'm like, look, my girlfriend has large breasts. And and then I sent him a picture of some girl, uh, some just like random girl who, who's a model who had large breasts, but she was trying to accentuate her cleavage. And I'm like, you have to wear a bra that's two sizes too small to get that kind of cleavage. And let me tell you what, when she, if my girlfriend tries to do that, it's extremely uncomfortable. So for you to do something like that, to be playing a video game like that, it doesn't make any sense. And from there, the only thing you're going to get are assholes coming on damn look at her tits holy shit i wish i could suck on those yeah, and then and you can't get mad when they say it. it it that's what you're it's kind of it and it's it should men be better yes but at the same time i say it just like this and and, and i'm speaking on behalf men are dogs we are scummy scummy people and we don't know how to act like straight up like that's that's i'm not even gonna i'm not even going to try to sit there and defend us and if you show a dog a treat, it's going to bark. That's yeah. it. It's, it. That's it. But I mean, the other thing is you need to respect yourself. And that's, I mean, and that's if you're going to go in there and making profit, bouncing up and down and making profit, and then you expect people to sit there and respect you. I mean, I and this is not for all Twitch women. I am no, not. No. And we because there are some Twitch women that are that, that that actually work hard. I applaud you. I do. They play games. And and th- uh, another way that I put this example was that if you're looking for an in- you're in an interview, it's you and another person. You're doing an interview for a job and there's a female wearing a mini skirt and showing her cleavage looking for the same job you're doing. Now you both do the same interview, except she opens her legs and shows the person who's giving the interview a, a look between her legs. She gets the job and you don't. But not only that, she then gets upset when the guy who's giving the interview asks for her phone number. It's basically what it is. You cannot, it, you, Twitch is it's just not fair. It's not fair. And I'm not talking about males because there's plenty of female who play there. It's not fair that you're holding up all the fucking audience for yourself because you're showing your tits or, I mean, you're, you're bouncing up and down and showing cleavage. And then you get upset when people say things about it. It's, it's, it's. And, and then when you, the, the, and this is the problem too, when they sign off and they're done for the day, that same crowd is still craving shit. So now they jump on another girl's yeah. account. And she's not showing any cleavage. And then they're doing the same shit. Yeah. They're talking to her the way they were talking to the other girl. Yeah. How is that fair to her? No, it isn't. It's and, not fair. And it here the other thing is there's there are areas on the internet for 
that material. Yeah, exactly. So we we hear it Twitch and we hear um because we're we're live on Twitch right now as we speak. So if you're listening to the podcast, I mean it's it's not kind of the same thing. But we we we're gamers and we're I get that we will like you know cleavage and all that fun stuff as nerds and gamers, but. That there's a time and a place for it, and this is supposed to be a social area, and it's supposed to be a fun area. Yeah, and, it's supposed to be a fun area, and, but it's it. This isn't this isn't some some cam girl site. Like that's not what this is made for. And even I mean, you look at YouTube. YouTube has restrictions and policies, and this is saving. And this is Twitch saving their own ass. Like if they get sued for somebody sexually harassing them. This is them being like, look, we put in parameters to protect you. Exactly. You, the, the internet and in this day and age, people are keyboard gangsters and people are keyboard scumbags. And that's really what it comes down to. I say it all the time. You know, people are saying that this is not fair, blah, 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 but, blah. I mean, they, 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 sh- they shouldn't do this. And I go back, dude, if, if somehow, some way I was, I mean, even though I'm a mutt, if I was like a white supremacist, cause I teach in a minority school. If I was like a white supremacist posting things on Facebook, but I'm a teacher at a minority school. You wouldn't want me teaching your kids, would you? It, it's the same kind of concept. This idea that we live in America and, and America's free. You you are right. You are free to do what you want. But at the same time, there are consequences there for are your consequences, actions. Consequences, of course. The, the, and and that's the thing. Like we, that's great that you want to share you show off your cleavage. We don't want it here. We don't want it here, and we don't have to have you here. And that's that's something that that's big, it's, especially you know. It, you, you 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 have a twelve year there, there's not a rating system here. You have a twelve year old kid. You have an eleven year old kid. They can get in easily. They can, easily. They, there's no rating system, and and no, it's not right. It is not right. It is not right. And, and let me tell you how strict they are with males. I can walk into a Walmart without my shirt, and no one's gonna say shit. Okay, <laughs> nobody says anything about a guy not wearing a shirt. Okay, if somebody takes their shirt off and changes their pan their, their shirt in public to put another shirt on, nobody gasps and go, "Oh my god, that man took his shirt off" because it's acceptable. Yet Twitch does not allow for males to have their shirt off while they're while they're gaming. While they're gaming, it's not we're allowed. Our podcast, You're whatever. not allowed to have your shirt off. And now they ask these girls to dress up appropriately, and they're bitching. They're fucking bitching. Because guys could do it too, bro. Guys could take their shirt off and show their abs and fucking whatever. And they don't do it because they're not allowed. And, and you know, I mean. I, I, it, I mean, this is this is where, you know, we the Internet is we slowly are getting this point where the Internet is not the Wild West anymore. Not everybody can do what they want to do. And we we've we're, we're getting to that point where guess what? We have our Las Vegas in the world and we have our Miami's and we have our California's and at other times we have our I mean, what what's uh, Utah is, is the Mormon state. Yeah. Not of trying to offend anybody in Utah, but that's what they're, you guys are known for. Is, I say we have two. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, Utah. and thank you for listening to us. <laughs> but like you're saying, this is Amazon. Okay. Twitch is owned by fucking Amazon. They're not going to sit here <laughs> and you fucking flaunting your ass up and down. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, it connects to Amazon. And when we're having sex, sexual problems like harassment, that's bad. That's yeah. really bad. And you want to talk about clothes. Any any human resources, any human resources will tell you that you cannot dress provocative to work. So if this is your job, if you're surviving on on Twitch, right? You're surviving. You're getting tips and stuff like that. It's a job. Yeah. And just think of Amazon being your fucking human resources, saying dress appropriately. Don't get mad. They're the owners. They can tell you whatever the fuck they want. And there, and you can, and like I said, there are adult places where you want. Yeah, to, uh, I've seen, I've seen hot chicks hey, who are naked, who well, are, because, you know, who, we talk who, to are our, who are playing it. Dude, there, I've seen it. I've, I've seen it. And these chicks playing naked and all this stuff, and they're like, hey, yeah, come on and join. And it's, well, it's yeah. made, but it's made for, for that. that. And no, and then you know, we talked to our buddies and the guy who. The one who said it's a free country. 
It's like, it's a free country, but that doesn't mean that in your workplace you can go dress however the fuck you want. Yeah. You can't. It's a free country, but there's rules in every job. So you I can't mean, if use it was a free country. You cannot I could, use it. Exactly. You cannot use a free country rule. I go to, I go to work in shorts and flip flops. Exactly. You don't because there's rules within the workplace. And unfortunately, if you're on Twitch, that is a workplace. You are making money out of this. Well, and if you don't like it, there are other, that's the other thing though. There are other outlets. Yeah. And I mean, Jesus, look, you want to, you want to do something like that? Shit. Get, build an IP, build your own IP, start your own company. Cool. Yeah. D- the, those fucking guys will follow you. Uh, they will follow you quick. They will follow you. They will fucking follow you. And trust me, don't to all these girls, do not fucking assume the Twitch will crumble without you. <laughs> because for every one of you that leave, there's another five streamers who are trying to make it in Twitch. Yeah. Maybe more. I think it's probably 20 Twitch streamers trying to survive. You leave, somebody will take your mantle. That's fine. And they did go. Go. That's fine. And that's it. Go. That's bye. See ya. That's my opinion. And with that being said, we won't say bye and see ya. Thank you very much. Guys, check us out on Evil Metal Gamers podcast on either iTunes or. Check it out on iTunes and Google Play. Check us out on the Twitter at uh, Evil Metal, Metal Gamers. Gamers. Yeah, email us. Let us know how much you hate us. At Evil Metal Gamers at gmail.com. Check us out tonight. We'll be uh, I'm gonna be hitting up all kinds of randomness at um, the uh, premiere of Black Panther for us civilians. <laughs> Seven thirty tonight. Cannot wait. Yep. What else? That's about it. That's about it. Have fun. Love you guys. Oh, shout out to our 19 downloads in Tokyo. That is fucking sweet. <laughs> sweet. That guy's like, oh, they said something. Shoot us an email or hit us up on He's Twitter. an American living there. I don't care. That's awesome. Can't wait to visit you when we get there one day. <laughs> yeah. That'd All be right. awesome. All right, guys. Love, peace, and happiness. Bye. <laughs>